Hi, it's me again, and I am starting to notice a bit of a trend with this channel. I very rarely have any good news for you. This is a bit of a bad news channel, isn't it? But the problem is, in the fight of the TV license and the BBC, there's very rarely any good news for people on outside of the fight. But it's going to come. It will come. I promise you, it's going to come. But not today. Let's have a look at this headline. BBC licence fee could stay as door open to abandoning plans to ditch the funding model. Now, I can't imagine many of you out there having a surprised face at hearing that. You know, it's going to happen, isn't it? That is going to happen. Something's going to really knacker us in this fight. Either it stays or it turns into a tax or something. But I can see this whole thing getting abandoned. Everything Nadine Doris has said, I can see getting abandoned. Is she still going to be in power once things are decided? And even if she decides the future this year, what if she loses her job next year? Someone could just come in and just tear those plans up. Couldn't they? They could. She needs to stay in the job past 2027 to guarantee anything she brings in, if, if she does bring anything in, which is looking more increasingly unlikely every day of the week, isn't it? You know, it's a mess. It's a mess. Julia Lopez said the government was genuinely open-minded about future funding for the national broadcaster. She said Nadine Doris would consider renewing the licence fee if it was found to be the best model for the BBC. Well, colour me surprised, eh? You know, it's, as far as the BBC are concerned, that's the best model for the BBC. They love it. 3.2 billion quid a year. Doesn't matter how many viewers you get, doesn't matter how many staff parties you have, how much you spend on booze, how much you spend on wasted hotel rooms, you know every year you're going to get 3.2 billion quid. The government love it because they get to sit in a bank account with about a billion of it getting interest. Not that there's a lot of interest to be had at the minute, but I would imagine the interest on a billion is still fair dues, wouldn't you? And the government get protected because BBC News protect them, as has been proven recently with the Boris Boogate thing. Ah, it's... The funding model's not, it's a mess. And I don't see it going away. It's just going to get worse, isn't it? I do think it's going to change. I do think something's going to change. 2027, we'll see a different funding model for the BBC. I just hope it's the one that we want to see. That's the problem. Giving evidence to the House of Lords Communication and Digital Committee, she said, the government is genuinely open-minded about the right model and we are seeking for somebody to surface the choices open to any government about the right way of funding the BBC. Watch this channel, love. It's easy. There's only a couple of ways to fund the BBC going forward. You either keep the licence fee as it is, and those people who don't want to pay it at the moment can choose not to pay it, as long as they don't watch anything that's been broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. So it's not unfair at the moment. I just wish it was more public knowledge that you didn't have to pay if you didn't want to. That's my big problem with it. I think people need to be informed more about not necessarily needing to pay it. So many people out there believe if you own a telly, you must pay it. So if you can get that word out there more, then the way it's currently funded isn't the worst way at all. The other way is a direct media tax that you put on your council tax, or on your broadband bill, or just straight on your pay slip. And that's paid per person, not per household, meaning the BBC get even more money to waste every year. Or you let the BBC stand on their own two feet. You treat them like the 35-year-old child that's still living at home with his mum. You kick him out and you tell him to go stand on his own two feet and get a job. You know, you could then that way they can either go commercial and show ads, or they could go a subscription model, or a hybrid of both, which is where I think it should go. Them's is your options, love. Just watch the channel. Phone me, Ms. Julia Lopez. Give me a call. I'll run you through it. No problem. It'll take me like two minutes. No problem at all. She told Piers, any model has to seek to try to overcome some of the shortcomings of the existing model before suggesting that the status quo would remain if no solution could be found. Does sound like she's setting up for the TV licence fee to stay as it is. And if it was a choice of media tax or as it is, I'll take as it is on one condition. Because she says here, we're looking at ways to overcome some of the shortcomings of the existing model. By shortcomings of the existing model, I believe she means the way it's policed and the horror stories of the OAPs getting people knocking on their door demanding money with menaces and stuff. You know, what happens here is if we keep it, they need to inform people that you don't have to pay it if you don't want to. 
and then they need to stop sending people really poorly written, fake, scary letters that do genuinely scare people. And they need to stop sending goons to knock on people's doors demanding money with menaces. If you choose not to pay it, that should be the end of it. Just like if I choose to stop paying for my Netflix, that will be the end of it. I just can't access the Netflix anymore, can I? If they can do that, if they can put the word out there that you don't have to pay if you don't want to, as long as you don't watch anything that's been broadcast, use iPlayer, and they can stop with the letters and the visits, I've got no problem with the license fee as it is, as it is. I prefer it to not be there at all, but at least at the moment we can opt out of it. If they turn it into a media tax, how the hell are you going to opt out of that? I have no idea. So what do you think about this? Which direction do you think it's going to go? It's interesting at the minute. There's a lot of talk about it, and we're building up to 2027. And there is a lot of talk about it. And it, it is an interesting time if, you're in, you know, if you have an interest in this sort of thing, as, as I do for my weird reasons. But let me know what you think about it all. And if you want to keep up to date on the way up to 2027 to find out everything that's going on, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then that way you won't miss, you won't miss any videos here. And if you do subscribe, then hopefully I will get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Shut up.